Well, good morning, everybody, or afternoon, whatever time you happen to be watching this video. Welcome back. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you a real quick little trick uh, that you can use to uh, aid in your field excursions and your trips outside. Uh, if you have been a regular watcher of this channel, you will know that I use topographic maps quite a bit. <clears throat> so today I'm going to show you how you can download topographic maps for free if you don't have a store nearby that can uh, that you can buy uh, maps from. This is a method that you can use to look up maps to uh, just to study a map or plan a trip or something like that, and then you can print them out uh, on a regular size sheet of paper. It might be a little hard to read at that small scale, uh, but. Uh, they're also available like in uh, JPEG and you can download it to your phone and then zoom in on it out, out, out in the field. So th over here uh, I've got a blank page uh, opened up in a browser and I'm just going to go to one of my bookmarks uh, that is called Get Maps or Topo View. And this is a, a U.S. Geological Survey product and it comes up uh, to this basic map here and then loads up and you can see that this is centered on uh, the Black Hills and here is Rapid City. And yours is not going to open up like this the first time, but after you use it, it kind of remembers where you uh, looked for products and then it opens up to that site again. So first of all, uh, just to look at the screen, you know, there's some options over here to zoom in, zoom out on the left-hand side. Uh, <clears throat> you can go out to the global view, uh, and then there's a, uh, a icon where you can click on it that shows your location. Uh, but I know where I'm at. I'm right over here. Up here at the top is, uh, this is set to a uh, terrain. Uh, you can click on a uh, satellite. If I click on satellite, then it goes to something like, uh, you know, a Google Earth view kind of thing. And this other button up here is USGS Topo. And so this is uh, really uh, kind of like a large or a small scale, a large area a topographic map. It's just a seamed uh, composition of a lot of uh, uh, topographic maps. And if you zoom in, <clears throat> You can begin to see uh, uh, the sections uh, show up on here that are on a topographic map. So you can use either that or, uh, you know, the Google Earth view doesn't really make any difference or any of the views are all the same. Uh, but so that's kind of the basic map that we're seeing here in the, in the center uh, of the screen. Over here on the right side, there's a couple of ways you can search. Uh, if, if you know the map name, you can click on map, and, and as we'll see in a minute, every topographic map has a name. Uh, you can just type that in here, it will search, or you can go location. And, and, and so if you live in uh, uh, Nevada, you, know, you can type in Reno or whatever, Nevada, and it'll zoom in on Reno and, and show you the areas around there. Uh, down below that is a kind of a menu with all these uh, circles with numbers in them, starting from all to 250, 163, uh, I think that's 40, and then 24. And this is the uh, scale of the maps. And, and so 1 to 200,000, 100,000. Uh, the, the typical quadrangle map from the USGS, the topographic map series, is 1 to 24,000. Uh, that's this button, so I'm just going to click that. And that means that all the maps that we look up are going to be at the 1 to 24,000 scale. And in fact, uh, now the uh, 1 to 24,000 scale topographic, their seven and a half minute topographic quadrangles uh, show up uh, here. So uh, the w maps that cover the Black Hills are uh, shown here by the white squares. And then when you zoom in enough, uh, the name shows up on here. So uh, you know, if you're going to go hiking somewhere and you're going to go out to uh, the Nemo area or Rochford or wherever it is, all you got to do is just click on one of those maps and it will, again, we've selected one to 24,000. It will come up with a listing of all of the map products that are available for this quadrangle. And, and so uh, we can see that the first one goes back to 1956. Uh, here's another 56, several in 56, 98, 2012, 15, 17, and 2021. So we'll just take a look at a few of these to see what the differences are uh, in the product. So most of them, again, are, they're available as a, a JPEG, uh, a KMZ. So if you're a member, a KMZ file, if you download this file, 
and you have this on your hard drive and then you're using Google Earth, you can just drag this KMZ file right over onto Google Earth and it will open up the, topogra the topographic map uh, in Google Earth. And so that can be handy for various things. Uh, GeoTIFF and a, a GeoPDF. And so you can see the GeoPDF is, is uh, the largest file, 12 megabytes, and it has special uh, features on it that you can turn on and turn off layers uh, in this. So just for viewing, typically, you know, we will use a JPEG. And um, so uh, these are the options that you can click um, show. Uh, underneath here, you click that show button and it and it kind of gives you a little preview of what the topographic map looks like in that section. So I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit and this is what the uh, topographic map would look like, the 1956 version for the, the Rochford area. You can also go up to where the icon is shown here and click on that and it will open it up in the preview uh, in a... Um, this is just a viewer that comes in Google Chrome, and of course you can uh, add, you can go into it a little more detail and scroll around. And um, so this actually is from United States Atomic Energy Commission. It's a, a geological survey map, and it has uh, UTMs on it and the uh, degrees, minutes, uh, seconds scale with um, a township range, and of course the sections down here. So inside the uh, red line are the sections with the number in the center. Uh, each section is one square mile in size. Okay, all of the lines on here are contour lines showing uh, topographic elevation. And you can see every once in a while they're labeled. So this dark uh, brown one here is 5,400 feet. And, and then moving um, in uh, to the left here, this is going uphill, this is going down hill toward the creek. Here's 5,200 feet and, and um, uh, Rapid Creek is down here in this valley. So the contour scale, you have to go down to the middle, to the bottom of the map, the bottom and over to the middle. A contour interval is 40 feet. So the elevation difference between any two of these lines is 40 feet. So this is 5,800. The top of that hill would be 58 80 plus, uh, but not, not 5920, because that would be another contour there. Okay, so a topographic map then is a two-dimensional. So we just have an X, an X direction and a Y direction. It's a two-dimensional map that shows three-dimensional data. So that third dimension, the vertical, is represented by the contour lines. So uh, you know, a great way to play with these things is you print out one of these, you go out in the hill somewhere or wherever you want to go, and you go somewhere that you can uh, access relatively easily on the map, and you stand there, and you can see, okay, there's a hill over here, there's a valley over here, and you can look at the map, and you can start to understand how the contours show what the uh, topography uh, is. Okay, so that's that preview uh, view up there, and... Um, and you can play around with these to get other things. But so uh, that's that was the Atomic Energy Commission map. Let's see what this other one is from 56. And this looks like the standard uh, USGS, yes. Um, so it's a little bit different. Well, it still says Atomic Energy Commission. A little bit different color on it. Um, let's go down and look at the date. Again, the date's going to be in the bottom right-hand corner. It still says 56. Okay, so I'm not sure what the actual difference is between those without looking a little more detail. Uh, but they were a little different color. This was more kind of a yellow green. This was green. Here's another 56 map. And it's a little bit different yet. Okay, but if we go to 2021. This is probably going to be mostly digital. Everything's a lot of things are going to look different on it. And in fact, yes, uh, you can see that these, <clears throat> the contours on here, uh, there, everything is is more digitally representative here. Uh, but nice, nice print. Uh, so it just depends on on what you want. You know, usually these older ones here are just a photocopy, as you saw on one of these that we clicked on down in the corner was a stamp, 
you know, somebody had stamped it and had a date on it and said something. Those are paper maps that were scanned in. Uh, these are digital copies here. And so depending on uh, what you want, uh, you have these different products. And, and so uh, they're, they're great. Things are free. Uh, again, you can, you can print this out just on one page size or you know, depending on what you have for a printer or if you have availability of a plotter or, or something like that. And if you want one, then uh, you just, you know, you click on the, what you want and it will come up with a, uh, you know, save as. And uh, so it's a JPEG, but it's a zip file. And then it saves it to that location. And then you have that map. And so one of the things I've done is I have uh, downloaded every one of these seven and a half minute quadrangle maps that cover the Black Hills. And when you go into Google Earth, I can open up all of them on top of Google Earth. And so, uh, you know, Google Earth, you got the three dimensionality and you can overlay the topographic map on that. And, and you can see how the contours kind of come alive and show you that uh, third dimension. So anyway, this is a fun little product, um, uh, Topo View uh, and from the U.S. Geological Survey. And, uh, yeah, and it's a, just a, a free product. It's a great way to look at maps and start to figure out how to use a map if you're not uh, very familiar with one. Or if you are familiar with maps and you want to go to a new area, you just simply go here and click on any one of these and all the map products in what you have selected up here uh, show up. So real quick, let me go back to Rochford here and let's just go to the, uh, the 250K. And we'll zoom out and so you can see the area that it covers. And so this, this one map right here is at the 250,000 scale. So what this scale means is that when we were looking at the 1 to 24,000, uh, that means that uh, one unit uh, of whatever measure on the map equals 24,000 units of that same, or 24,000 measures of that same unit out in the field. So in other words, if I... Uh, and looking at this 1 to 24,000 scale, and I measured one inch on this map with a ruler, and then went out in the field and found that exact spot here and that exact spot here that was one inch on the map and measured it on the ground, straight line distance would be 24,000 inches. Okay, one foot here is 24,000 feet. Uh, so it's just a, um, it's a ratio scale. Okay, so if we go to the 250,000, then that means one inch on this map is equal to 250,000 inches uh, on the ground. So it's a much uh, larger area. We call that a smaller scale because one over 250 is a smaller number than one over 24. And so uh, that's how you would figure scale. But again, you can click on this and this is what the, the map looks like. And these are, uh, again, quite different products. This is the uh, the Rapid City, 1 to 250,000 scale, same type of information. The, the, uh, all of the information is on the bottom down here. This has a 200-foot contour interval. because you can imagine this large of an area, if I had a 20 or a 40-foot contour level, would be all full of contour lines. You won't be able to see any information. So these are uh, very useful maps as well. And then this shows where this fits into the scheme of things. There's the uh, the Rapid City, and then there's uh, one over here um, in Gillette, <clears throat> Newcastle, Hot Springs, uh, etc. And this will show up on all of these uh, map products. So it's it's a different animal, uh, much, much, much larger area. So Rapid City in here, the northern Black Hills, uh, Belfouche, uh, South Dakota up in here, Belfouche Reservoir. So that's that map scale. And again, you can do the same thing for uh, the other ones. You know, the old 63, um, 1 to 63,000 are, are different uh, maps. There's not, you know, they're not necessarily everywhere. Or if they are, they're usually old. So if we come into uh, the Rapid City area here, there's, there's none. Um, but if we go up to Sturgis, there's one, uh, 1899. So there is an 1899 map of Sturgis at the 1 to 63,000 scale. And so uh, these old maps, you can see they're, they're quite a bit different. They were, it's almost like they were hand-drawn. Uh, they're really beautiful products. Uh, historical file. 
contour interval 50 feet. So if you look at one of these, and then you look at the current uh, 1 to 24,000 scale, particularly the newer ones that might be compiled off of uh, LIDAR or laser type data, uh, you'll, you could possibly find quite a bit of difference in the topography and where things lie. And uh, because our resolution is better today, but you know, here's the town of Deadwood. If you want to see what that looked like back in, uh, you know, 1899 or whatever that date was here. So these are fun to look at uh, as well. But all, all these uh, map series are available uh, for the designated um, areas. Uh, you just have to play around with it and, and, and find an area you want, download the map, and take a hike. Literally, take a hike. It's good for you. Okay, well, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you get a chance to use this product. It's free. It's fun. Have fun. See ya.